In this Python tutorial, we will design a GUI application using Python Custom Kinter. There are entry, button, and label objects in the application. After entering the table name and ID range, when the button is pressed, the data in Microsoft SQL Server is displayed in the label object. We will do the project again with you. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. In previous lessons, we created a table called Employees. The table has ID, first and last name columns. There is no data in the table. I will load 10 data into the table. I can generate random data using this website. I choose the SQL option. When the preview button is pressed, SQL codes are shown. I am running insert into commands in SQL Server. I added 10 data to the table. Now let's start creating the GUI application that I showed at the beginning of the video. I will use the PODBC library to connect to the Microsoft SQL Server database. You can transfer the library with this code. I will use the custom Kinter library to design a GUI application. You can transfer the library with this code. I import both libraries. I set the view mode to dark. I set the window default color to blue. I create a variable for the window. I adjust the window size with the geometry function. I am adjusting the window title. I use the main loop function to prevent the window from closing suddenly. I created an empty window. Now I will start adding entry objects one by one. First, I add the entry object for the table name. I send the window variable, text and width values to the entry function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I added the entry object for the table name to the desktop window. Now I will add the first entry object for the ID. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the first ID entry object to the desktop window. I will add a label object between the two entry objects. I send the window variable and text values to the label function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I added the label object to the window. I add the second ID entry object to the desktop window. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the second ID entry object to the desktop window. I will create a button for select. I send the window variable, text, task function, and color values to the button function. I add the object to the window using the place function.
For now, I define the task function with pass. I added the button object to the window. Now I will add a label object to display the data. I send window variable, text and font values to the label function. I add the object to the window with place. I added the label object to the window. Now I will edit the select function. I use the try except method to detect errors. I am creating a variable. I will try to connect to the database with the connect function. I set the driver option to SQL server. I can find out the server name this way. I can learn the database name this way. I will connect to the system using Windows authentication. Therefore, I set the trusted connection option to true. I am creating a cursor for the select query. I will send the select query to the execute function. I can get the values entered into the entry and ID entry objects with the get function. If there is no data, I will show a text indicating this in the label object. To do this, I create a variable. Since I use the between operator, I may need to display more than one string expression in the label object. Therefore I create an empty string variable. If the for loop runs, there is data. Therefore, I set the first variable I created equal to 1. I can link the text variable together with the addition operation. I edit the text of the label object using the configure function. If there is no data, variable is still zero. Can you show a message stating this in the label object using the configure function? I would be happy if you do this and write how you did it in the comments. You can think of this as homework. If there is an error, I will address it in the accept section. I show a text indicating that there is an error in the label object using the configure function. I will test the application. I enter the table name and ID values. It shows the data between the entered ID values in the label object. Don't forget to complete the assignment and tell us how you did it in the comment section. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.